Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Disney Dining Show. Morgan, Denny, and Fiasco here. And today we are actually back at Disney's Riviera Resort to dine. We couldn't get enough. At La <laughs> Gotta get all Petite. the options. Yeah, exactly. So this place uh, isn't like a restaurant restaurant, but there are some offerings that we noticed other than sweets. So we'll check that out as well as our sweet tooths being satisfied. But before we start, we must let you know this video is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. Let our experts help you plan the vacation of your dreams over at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. All that information down in the description below. But are we excited? Yeah, absolutely. It does look like those choices that you were talking about, those other savory options, like those have been added to the menu here at Le Petit Cafe since the opening of the resort in December. So really cool that they're already adding things and yeah. changing things up a little bit. So I'm excited to try those out. Let's check it out. enjoyed um, some snacks here at the Petite Cafe and we decided to go ahead and just get a little um, uh, sweet and salty. Yeah, a little sweet, sweet and savory, savory thing going on here. So uh, we'll start out with the sweet. Why not? So we had the hazelnut caramel mm -hmm. <laughs> and we also had the lemon cheesecake. So I uh, do not, because of a food sensitivity, I do not partake of anything in containing hazelnuts. So I'm going to defer to you on that. What did you think of the profiterole? I enjoyed it. The mix of textures was really interesting and made the trying it really exciting. It had like a little bit of kind of coconutty flavor. I don't know if it was actually coconut flavor, but it had a little bit of that in it. Um, the creamy hazelnut in it was delicious. But the lemon cheesecake, that was punch in the face lemon, and it was so good. What did you think of this? Yay. I didn't, I, what I, I'll tell you what I thought of the presentation. The presentation is beautiful. I mean, it's just stunning. It's a tiered dessert. It's made with a shoe pastry, similar to what you might find in the fair. So it's a nice, simple French pastry, but they've really judged it up a lot with the beautiful presentation. And, uh, all the chocolate icing we got going on. Seeing it in the glass cases back there, it's like, oh, you look so purity. You look so beautiful. beautiful. Um, the lemon cheesecake was delicious. I loved it. It's got a nice um, thin crust. It's nothing that's overwhelming. They really balanced it nicely. So you have a layer of um, just the cheesecake. And sometimes cheesecake can just... I mean, it leads with the cheese, yes. and it can become overpowering. That's not the case at all. It's really nicely balanced. Um, I, I bit into it and went, oh, there's lemon curd. And so I had to, ex I had to ex inspect it a little bit more closely, and there's a lovely layer of lemon curd in there. And lemon curd is the bee's knees. I love some lemon curd. This is a really nice, very sweet and simple but beautiful dessert. What did you think of it? I, I, like I said, I really enjoyed it. Punch in the face lemon. Um, I liked the raspberry on top. And like you said, the, the pastry at the bottom, it wasn't rock hard that you were couldn't muscle through it. And so it was really good all around. I really enjoyed this. I might get it again. Oh, might get it again. Might get it again. <laughs> what do you think of this guy? So oh, the charcuterie. I love a great charcuterie board. I love charcuterie when it also includes a little bit of cheese. But here at Le Petit Cafe, they um, they have a delineation between the two. So they've got a cheese board and they've got a charcuterie. We had prosciutto and we also had papa. Papa and uh, a, a duck pate, almonds, dried apricots, and some lavash crisps. I really, I love prosciutto. I love prosciutto. And thinly sliced, melts in your mouth. 
this was very, very good. The kappa is a little bit um, thicker, a little tougher. There's a lot of marbling going on in the kappa, which according to the description that we read, that's the famous thing about kappa is you want some marbling going on in it. Um, there were also olives that I did not partake in, but uh, the lavash is just really, really nice. It's got nice seeds on top. A uh, little salty. What did you think? I didn't have any. Yeah. No. Oh, I, was, <laughs> I just stuck to desserts. Yep. <laughs> Dessert was your was your mm -hmm. jam tonight. So two thumbs up, I think, across the board. How would you compare this to other charcuterie Oh, gosh. Okay. Because there's a lot around. Property. There are a lot. And um, it's, it's, really, it's really interesting. You don't get... Um, on some of the other charcuterie boards that I've come across, prosciutto is not always featured. Um, coca, coca isn't as well. So that's really nice. You might find prosciutto before you find coca. So I really, I really enjoyed it. It's not too much. Um, when you get the charcuterie board over at um, Baseline Tap House and Disney's Hollywood Studios, and if you've not gotten it, please do and get it in the evening and sit outside. It's just a lovely package deal. Um, but that's got a lot of, of spicy things going on on it, which is they're amazing. There's not spicy going on on this. This is a very, like, like Fiasco has said, approachable, okay, because we're kind of, this is a theme that, that we're kind of um, seeing, a trend that we're seeing, this is very approachable charcuterie board. Even the duck pate, which is made from duck legs, it's not, it's not too over the top, it's salty, and it's, it's good, yeah. All right, so I actually tried everything, go figure that, out of, out of all people to try everything, me. And uh, let me start with my little latte here. So one cool thing is on the latte description, it's going to come with steamed milk like lattes often do, but you were actually able to substitute that for soy or almond milk. And for me, almond milk is my go-to, so I was able to do that, and they put a cute little RR for Riviera on there, which we just thought was the most adorable thing. Now what they told us is if you got it with the steamed milk, they could do more creative things like maybe Mickey or Minnie, but almond milk just doesn't hold the picture as well as uh, as regular as regular milk does. But this latte was great. I enjoyed it. I was pretending to be nice and fancy here at the Riviera Resort, as you can see. But moving right on, I'll move on to the charcuterie board next. Now, uh, my first time actually trying a charcuterie board was during a dining review. I don't exactly remember which one but it kind of started with something like a, a no thank you bite, as Denny would describe it, uh, where I was like, you know what, I'll give it a shot for, for the review, and I tried prosciutto, and I actually really, really liked it. Um, so I was excited that they had it this, this time around too. Now everything on this board was just packed with salt. Very, very salty, um, which is great for a place that serves mostly sweets. You can kind of get a nice balance there. Uh, the olives were actually the same, very pickled, salty olives that we got up at Topolino's Terrace, but this time there was only a handful of them, maybe eight, which is, I think is just perfect considering up at Topolino's we got an entire bowl of them. Uh, and then the duck. Now this was probably the most questionable thing for me um, out of all of them because I love ducks. Uh, I don't usually feel good about eating Donald, but you know what? It's already in front of me. There's nothing I can do about him now. This is just how Donald has ended up. So I tried it out and it was actually the most, uh, the most mild thing on the board, almost like a little palate cleanser after coming from all the, the tough, salty, pickled flavors that were spread out around the rest of the board. So it was actually pretty good. Um, the desserts. Now the profiteroles, it was just like super chocolate, super hazelnut, just boom, boom, boom. Uh, a fan of chocolate, fudgy, hazelnutty desserts is gonna absolutely love this. This was definitely my favorite of the two. Now um, the lemon cheesecake, like it was described before, uh, cheesecake leading with the cheese. Luckily that wasn't the case with this. And like Morgan said, it was a punch of lemon, and it definitely was that. I love lemon, I love citrus flavors, so this cheesecake did not bother me in the least. I was a huge fan of really everything we try here today, and it's a really cute little place, so two thumbs up for me as well.
That is what we ate. So right before I press record, Morgan was pointing out the ducks in this picture. We did eat them, unfortunately, for this video. But La Petite Cafe. Now, what do we think? Um, I think it's great. Personally, it's um, the use of space is what I enjoy the most. So in the morning time and during the day, um, it's all breakfast pastries. And I was telling Corey and Morgan when we were here in December, I had one of the blueberry muffins in the morning. It was just amazing. It wasn't, it was moist. It was huge. Sorry, Rhino, for using the word moist, but it was just, it was everything you want a blueberry muffin to be. And the coffee, the smell of coffee in the morning, the whole nine yards is fantastic. So in the evening, it shifts to being a bar. And so they have the, the Le Petit Cafe bar menu out, and they'll have it out at the tables in the lobby, as well as the Voyager's Lounge next door. And it's just this lovely, low-lit kind of space. The ambiance is, is really nice. Morgan? Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I think it's a perfect little place to go if you're staying here and just want something quick to eat. But you know, in the morning, you got, like she said, your breakfast and then a dinner or lunch. Afternoon, daytime, evening, you have your other options as well. So I think it's perfect instead of trying to find a place to find in the morning to eat breakfast and then also at night to find a different place. So I like that it switches over to both and there's tons of seating. Tons and tons of seating. Yeah. yeah. And uh, one thing I think is really worth mentioning is uh, the, the route that we chose to go is to sit down at a table. We had a server and everything. Uh, so you can choose it to be to he for here or to go kind of like a quick service, uh, sit down hybrid, kind of reminds me of Wolfgang Puck Express, uh, geyser point, stuff like that. Um, but you can also take it to go. Um, now all the pastries here, all the coffees are snack credits on the Disney dining plan. Uh, the charcuterie board and cheese board, however, are not. Now real quick price breakdown. My cafe latte was $4.29. The charcuterie board was $13.99, uh, cheesecake $6.99, and profiteroles $6.99. You do not accept any discounts yet, but in the future we can expect, uh, expect those discounts. Now, the pastries are a little bit on the pricey side for pastries, however, they were really, really good. Yeah. Um, They're done with flair. I mean, even the lemon cheesecake had a little chocolate um, special, almost sculptural curl on top. It, um, the profiterol is beautiful. It's just, uh, it's done with a whole lot of love. It's definitely a good bang for your buck for the flavor. The they're very committed to the flavors. So I've got the hazelnut one, very hazelnut chocolatey, and then like we said, the lemon punch in your face. So for pastry, very, very good pastry. And uh, you know, if you just ate dinner at Topolino's and you forgot to have dessert, like we did at our dinner, head on down here for a late night snack. But until next time, that's all I got. Yep, that's it. The cast members are great here, so stop by anytime. We'd love to help you out. Right. See you next time. Bye.